Hello everyone, and welcome to my Days of Our Lives 24 channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Teresa moves out outside the bar, Roman guaranteed Kate that Lucas was protected in another spot. Roman controlled Kate into the bar, and she wheezed when she saw the heartfelt supper that Roman had set up for Valentine's Day. Kate stated, I am so grateful that you are my Valentine. Back at you, Roman said. At the point when Roman lifted the covers on their plates, Kate's eyes messed without when she saw two dishes of mollusk chowder. Roman began to giggle, and he made sense of that it was a joke. I will deny it assuming you tell anyone I did this, however I have takeout from the bistro in the warming cabinet, Roman said. Kate expressed gratitude toward Roman for supper and the chuckle. However, more significantly, my adoration, thank you for continuously causing me to feel cherished. Continuously encouraging me, Kate said. You have my heart. Continuously will. You mean the world to me, Roman told her. After supper, Kate apologized for not having gotten a gift for Roman. Each and every day I enjoy with you is a gift, Roman countered. Kate and Roman concurred that they would constantly find their direction back to each other. With a smile, Roman turned on music, and he requested that Kate dance. After a dance, Kate recommended that they go higher up so Kate could give Roman a gift. Sloane got together with Melinda at Little Bar. Melinda inquired of Sloane, perplexed, as to why she was not at home with her hunky husband. Sloane lamented that the baby had kept her from participating. Also, I'm damn tired of it, Sloane said. Melinda encouraged Sloane to give Eric a little leeway. Eric is very supporting. He's simply giving his all, Melinda said. Sloane drank her wine slowly. Sloane said, not with me, he's not. Sloane admitted that she was terrified. At the point when Melinda asked Sloane what she was frightened of, a lady named Connie hollered at Melinda, you. Lee and I were darlings, and in the event that you hadn't baited him into your snare, he'd in any case accompany me and particularly alive. I'm battling to sort out what your identity is and the way that you got away the psych ward, Melinda said. According to Sloane, the woman was a client of hers. I know the both of you, Connie affirmed. Melinda's eyes lit up with acknowledgement. Connie. Didn't Lee continue around one date with you? Melinda said. Connie argued that if Melinda hadn't been there, the one date could have led to a wonderful relationship. What's more, I would have guarded him, Connie said. Sloane inquired as to whether she was a person from a book, and Connie considered Sloane a merciless tramp. Connie dismissed and walked. At the point when Melinda stayed calm, Sloane asked what was off base. Melinda conceded that she was miserable that Lee was gone and that she pondered him a great deal. You folks really had something? Sloane inquired. We did. Furthermore, I wrecked it. Totally. I was right at a point in my life when my profession was up here, and all the other things was way the damnation down here, including my affection life. I just underestimated Lee, Melinda said. Melinda cautioned Sloane not to misstep the same way with Eric. It's noticeably flawed. Be that as it may, perhaps it's sufficient. Accept it, Melinda advised. Sloane was reminded by Melinda that he had a family. You want to quit zeroing in on the thing you're not getting and center around being steady of Eric's commitment to Jude. And perhaps giving the little guy a little bit more support yourself. That is to say, you are his mom, for the good of paradise, Melinda said. Not actually, however, Sloane said. Sloane was surprised when Melinda advised him not to go there. Where? Try not to go to reality? That my significant other's ex, aka Nicole DiMera, is really that little child's mom that we took from her? Sloane said. Melinda shushed Sloane. You need to make sure you remember everything we did to get you that baby. Furthermore, more critically, you better recall that assuming anybody figures out what we did, our lives are demolished, Melinda said. Sloane said she comprehended. A plastered Sloane slurred, nobody will at any point learn about Jude and where he came from. Melinda covered Sloane's glass and exhorted her not to drink any longer. 
Return home. You have a spouse and a child sitting tight for you there, Melinda said. Sloan said that he would pay the bill. Melinda expressed gratitude toward Sloan. Call me whenever on the off chance that you want to vent. Simply don't vent to any other individual, Melinda said. Sloan said, I got it. After Melinda left, Sloan requested another beverage. Sloan caught Connie's eye from across the room. Teresa was hurriedly packing when Alex returned to his apartment. Alex advised Teresa that she didn't have to leave. How could I stay here with someone that doesn't need me, Teresa said. Alex requested that Teresa be sensible, and she chuckled. Teresa argued, I am being reasonable. Alex contended that he accepted he could have a wonderful future with Teresa. Yet, I went to a gathering for individuals whose friends and family are fiends, and I'm paying attention to every one of their sentiments, and I'm thinking perhaps we're simply moving excessively quick, Alex made sense of. Teresa took a full breath, and she inquired as to whether he was saying that she was a lot for him. That is not the very thing I implied. Alex shouted. Alex said he needed to dial back. It does not imply that our relationship is detrimental. You have a child, listen. You have a child. We're not the only ones, Alex argued. A youngster? Come on, Alex. Tate is almost a grown-up, Teresa countered. Teresa encouraged Alex to lie and say he had responsibility issues or probably concede reality and advise her that he would have rather not been with her. Which one is it will be? Teresa inquired. After a second, Teresa gathered up her things and wheeled her back to the front entryway. Wait! Wed me, Alex said. Teresa halted, and she went to confront Alex. You need to get hitched, fine. We should make it happen, Alex said. Teresa inquired as to whether that had been a genuine proposition. Alex didn't say anything. Better believe it, I thought not. You know what, perhaps next time you can attempt really dropping down to one knee, or I don't have the foggiest idea, perhaps don't make statements you don't mean, Alex. Teresa said. Teresa opened the front entryway, and Alex asked Teresa to pause. Teresa shouted that the main thing more regrettable than having seen a ring and not gotten a proposition was being proposed to out of coerce or feel sorry for. That is not the very thing I'm doing. Alex said. Alex asked Teresa where she wanted to go. Why would that be any of your business? Teresa inquired. It's my anxiety, Teresa, since no doubt about it, Alex hollered. Teresa jokingly inquired as to whether he was concerned that she would take drugs. That won't occur from this little calamity, all right? Teresa said. Teresa tossed her condo keys to Alex, and she advised him to have a decent life. Alex called out to Teresa as she went down the hall, but she didn't answer. Marlena told Brady about John's nightmares and insomnia in the penthouse. It doesn't feel like he's been himself recently. He's been peevish and a little tense, Brady said. Marlena mentioned Brady's similarity to his father. I would rather not meddle, yet I ought to let you know that I'm worried about you, too. Would it be a good idea for me to be? Marlena inquired. Brady gestured yes. Truly, I'm feeling somewhat lost, somewhat desolate, Brady conceded. Marlena got some information about Brady's encounter with Rachel. Brady let Marlena know how he and Kristen had battled before Rachel. This is my Valentine's Day. This is my life. I lost Chloe. I have a young lady that is damaged that I don't have guardianship of. Brady continued, and I have an insane, Machiavellian ex-wife. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe my channel and don't miss any update.